this video, we're going to modify the shell that goes around our, our Bitsy bot so that the switches will be able to fit through and uh, we'll be able to get the bumper switches in place. So we're, we're sort of not exactly sure how much material we need to remove. So we're just going to take away a chunk and see if we can make that work. Now, when I was doing this, I learned that the, uh, the nipper pliers that I use to cut the plastic is actually not the right tool because it, it tends to cause the plastic to split and uh, can make it uh, crack in places that you don't want it to crack. So I would just use the knife and sort of take it a, take it away just a little bit at a time. Um, and, and that way you can get like exactly uh, the way you want it. Now again, anytime you're using a knife, you should have a lot of experience with it and uh, be wearing safety glasses and things like that, especially using a break off blade knife because they can, the sections can pop away if you, if you cut at the wrong, wrong angle. So, but you can see how easily the uh, styrene uh, carves. It's, it's very easy material to work with. And uh, so we're just taking apart, uh, taking more and more of the styrene out at a time and making sure that we have enough clearance for our switches. And uh, we'll go back and take a little bit more styrene out. We're, we're trying to find a way to do it in a way that's also aesthetically uh, somewhat pleasing. So we're going to, instead of having just a harsh jog, we're cutting a, uh, a curve into the styrene. And in order to get enough clearance for our green wires, we really have to remove a whole lot more material. So we're uh, just marking that out with our, with our break off blade knife and then uh, snipping some of it off with our, with our nipper pliers. And that's where I discovered that the nipper pliers can cause it to sort of split. Um, and so it's not nearly as, as good as the break off blade knife. It's faster, but you, uh, you risk cracking it. So in any case, uh, we've got our sort of shell or outer housing and we're, we're making sure that the switch is clear and that the wire's clear and trimming off the excess material. And, uh, we've put it up upside down and we can see that there are, it's totally clear and everything's good. We've managed to smooth off the edges. And, and now we're just lining it up for, for the final time. And we're going to go ahead and put the screws that hold the outer shell in place. Um, and that will, uh, that will finish the modifications to the outer shell. All right, and we're tightening down the screws there. Uh, last adjustments on the 22 gauge wires, making sure everything works and tightening the switches down. And uh, we've already loaded some code on the Arduino. And so we're going to push our bumper switches and see if we can get them to trigger the lights. There they go. So the lights are working pretty well and our, our bumper switches cover the almost the full front and back of the bot so we can be sure that when we run into a wall we'll be able to respond to it. 